So how do we heal from a relationship breakup? You know, there are some clients that I'll work with that have ended a relationship or a marriage with someone two, four, six, eight, ten years ago, and they still haven't healed from it. And I'm going to tell you the number one problem with letting those things sort of go underneath the carpet and not dealing with them directly. You're tuned into David Essel's Daily Video Boost, your exclusive online video community. <laughs> Take notes. Take notes. Do one thing today you'd rather not do. The two keys of success that we've found in almost 40 years of being in this industry, 28 years as a counselor and a coach, and... God, before that, a bunch of other years doing a lot of other fun things. So if you don't heal a relationship, the past relationship, and what does that mean to heal it? It means that when you think of that person, you don't have that pit in your stomach. You don't have that growl in your voice. You don't have that uncomfortability when you think about them. Like that means the relationship, the former relationship, the breakup has been healed. But if we don't do that, we're going to walk into our future relationships with a chip on our shoulders. We're not going to be as trusting. We're not going to be as open. We may not be as vulnerable. We're going to be looking for problems versus looking for solutions. We're going to be coming up with those phrases, all men are dogs, all women just want my money, blah, blah, blah. You know, like those type of statements and thought processes, belief systems in our brain is because of the fact that we haven't healed the past. If you haven't healed the past relationship, it's going to somehow come up, if not in the beginning, the middle, definitely the end of your next relationship. And you'll start to see a pattern. When you don't heal past relationships, you're going to choose someone fairly similar. Maybe it'll be a guy that's emotionally unavailable. Maybe it'll be a woman that doesn't want to take care of herself. Maybe the list goes on and on and on, right? So here's step number one. Write letters without ever sending them to your former partner telling them about the pain that you were in. Don't ever send this stuff, okay? This isn't for you, for them. This is for you. Work with a professional, okay? A counselor, life coach, therapist, minister, priest, rabbi. I always say that because they can really help exploit the process. But write letters and get everything out about those specific things they did that you're unhappy with, how they, they lied to you, they cheated on you, they treated you inappropriately, whatever it might be. Get it out of your body. Okay, number one, you'll know you're done writing those letters when you're bored as hell and you just don't feel like writing anymore. That's a great sign. Number two, write letters to yourself of what you did to create the dysfunction. Did you stay too long? Are you codependent and didn't want to rock the boat and talk about things that were crucial to talk about? Did you have your eyes on someone else halfway through the relationship that distracted you? Did you put way too much time into work or alcohol or something else that distracted you? In other words, we're going to take freaking responsibility for why the relationship didn't end. And I will tell you, in 28 years as a counselor and a coach, I've never, ever, ever worked with one client where that we could say the breakup and the failed relationship was 100% due to the other person. Never once. If that's confusing, let's work together. I can explain it all one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Don't forget to let your friends and family know we are on the air for them as well. Get them to sign up for the boost anywhere. Also, our number, or it's going to be a number one best-selling book, I know that. Our 10th book, Focus, comes with a 100% money-back guarantee. All the details are at talkdavid.com. Grab your copy. Great chapter on profound love. I think you're going to get a lot out of in the whole rest of the book. There's tons of, of information as well. And if I can help you one-on-one -on -one as a counselor or a coach or help your, your corporation or your business, your nonprofit as a speaker, email us at talkdavid.com. We're going all over the country now with our new book tour, and we could be going into a city near you, and we could rock and roll together, okay? Everything's at talkdavid.com. Have a great day.